Eastern Kentucky University has a very big week ahead as it officially inaugurates Dr. Michael Benson as its president and celebrates its homecoming with a Colonel football team that has been on fire this season. EKU is a comprehensive regional university known for law enforcement, teaching programs, and other areas of study, and for emerging programs like aviation. Since Dr. Benson took over last year, he also moved ahead with new student housing options and proposed a new education complex as well as a new entrance to the Richmond campus that's uh, underway right now with some demolition. Before the big week gets rolling, President Benson, good enough to join us today. We appreciate that. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Bill. Good to be here. Been on the job about a year, a little bit uh, more than that right now. Are you making the kind of progress that uh, you hoped for when you first set foot at EKU? Well, they tell me my probationary period is just about over, <laughs> so uh, the inauguration goes forward next week, and we're very happy with the direction things are headed. Uh, sure, we have some areas we want to focus, but uh, I think on balance, we're, we're very content with uh, where we're headed, but we're also inspired and motivated to keep moving, moving forward in, in some specific areas. What potential did you see at EKU uh, that uh, led you to think that's a place where you want to be uh, here in the prime of your life? Well, I think this is the prime of my life, and my family and I love it here. We found a real home in Kentucky. Uh, EKU is a really fine school, and we found uh, when we arrived in Richmond an institution that was very sophisticated, been around for a long time, a really solid foundation in place, and our task really is to build on that. Uh, you mentioned some of the, the niche programs that we have, continue to focus on those. I think our, our success in the future is going to be differentiation. What can we do differently and better than anybody else? There's a lot of redundancy and in some ways um, uh, you know, programs that you may have at, at your school that you have at other institutions. But our bread and butter, I believe, is to carve out unique niches for ourselves and to do them really, really well. And what would you say are the, the pillar programs and the emerging programs at EKU? I'd say the pillar ones, of course, we were founded as a teaching institution, uh, you know, a normal school. So our college of education has always been one of our strongest areas. Uh, you mentioned some of the other ones, justice and safety. Uh, aviation is really starting to, to get a lot of notoriety and the partnership that we have with the county, the, the airport. Uh, I think some of our other programs, you know, our, our science programs, we're going to break ground on phase two of our new science building next week, which uh, when it's done, it's a $130 million complex over almost eight acres and to have all of our science areas under one roof uh, for undergraduates is going to be something unlike anything really in the Commonwealth. You have a vision for a, a new educational complex would it, which would also include the model school as a part of that uh, uh, part of campus. Uh, where are you with that? Well, that uh, appropriation will come from kind of a different pot of money from the, the capital project facility uh, funds that the state gives to, to uh, universities and colleges. So our task really is to get with, uh, with the public education and to continue to work with our local superintendent, um, Superintendent Thomas, and to make a, a case that model, which was built in 1960, is in dire need of being replaced. And two of my kids go there and I see it every day, and it's a great school, and as you know, the only laboratory school left in the, in the Commonwealth. And it really is one of these, uh, I think, showpieces to, to illustrate that you can take from bench to bedside, um, teaching pedagogies and techniques uh, where you teach in the classroom, and then these uh, student teachers can go and try it in the classroom right there with, with uh, living, breathing students. Uh, so we're, we're making progress on that front, too. How do you build buildings like you're talking about, facilities like that, and, and uh, beautify the campus? Uh, and you've talked about, and we'll ask you a little bit about a new entrance that you're also building there to campus. Pay your faculty and staff what they uh, demand and, and need, and also keep a lid on tuition. <laughs> Challenge, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. That's, just kind of, that's, a, that's a, uh, a, a tough uh, situation. That said, um, we've said all along that human capital is our number one asset. Uh, we value our faculty and staff. Uh, we'll continue to focus on uh, how well they're doing. Uh, we're there because of students. None of us have jobs if we didn't have students. Uh, so we'll always try and put the student experience first. Students in this day and age are sophisticated. They know what they want in terms of housing, in terms of classrooms, in terms of kind of the accoutrements that come with uh, going to university. So we need to improve our, our capital facilities. Um, we continue to move forward with some of those niche programs as I, as I talked about. Uh, the, the science building, uh, that has been a goal of ours to get that funded for a long time. Uh, you know, our Center for the Arts is another example of a, of a partnership with the county and with the city that has worked really, really well for, to the benefit of, of all Madison Countyans, including yourself. 
So, I, you know, we're trying to move on a lot of different fronts. Uh, and still in all, I think people take cues from the president. If I'm optimistic and forward-thinking and energetic, I hope they'll be the same. Now, right after the big weekend with the inauguration and the homecoming, uh, we'll be uh, hosting a congressional debate over there at the, the EKU Center for the Arts. All right, you mentioned uh, students uh, have different demands these days. They want uh, different housing options. And uh, I remember being tripled at Keene Hall, by the way. So uh, times have changed. Tell us about <laughs> <laughs> now, now they get, what, a sort of a, an elaborate apartment complex that was uh, built first as a private business and then you have made an arrangement to uh, to take that over right? well it's not every day you have right across the street from your campus a developer come in and, and in effect put 520 plus new brand new beds and uh, you know we've paid attention to the competition around us and there are ways that we collaborate with our fellow institutions but we also compete for the same students in many respects so when we see UK replacing kind of writ large uh, a lot of their beds, if not all of them. We've looked at our inventory and said, hey, we've got to do better too. So it was a private development that we got approved from uh, the finance cabinet to, to lease on a 20-year uh, basis. And uh, from what I understand, we're at 95% occupancy. So they came online and students gobbled them up. Do campus rules apply there? Uh, we're, we're kind of grandfathering in right now the ones that signed leases before. Um, we took it over, and moving forward, we'll have the, the same rules apply. You know what I'm asking, alcohol, yeah. uh, that's mm -hmm. been an issue. And you, there's no decision made at this point, right? Well, it, it's still kind of in, uh, in limbo, but uh, moving forward, uh, we'll, we'll have a, a fixed uh, kind of uh, policy. All right. I want to ask you about the tremendous football season that's off and uh, rolling for the uh, Colonels, also the inauguration and uh, your future plans. We're back on WKYT's Kentucky Newsmakers with the president of EKU in just a moment. Dreaming of a new kitchen, bath, or outdoor space? At Quality Construction Company, your dream becomes our project. You deserve quality. You deserve Quality Construction Company. Kathy Witt has gone way beyond being just a sheriff. She handles more than a billion dollars in the last three or four years in the public's money. She has been engaged in the community. Domestic violence is a very serious problem. Kathy and her deputies are watching her very closely and enforcing those statutes. That's the kind of person that Kathy Witt is, and that's the reason I support her for her re-election to the sheriff of this county. From big cities to small towns, the heroin epidemic continues to grow, leaving community hospitals wondering what to do next. The addiction is so powerful, it's hard to see people you know go through this. Small Town Addiction, Monday at 6 on WKYT. Welcome back now to WKYT's Kentucky Newsmakers as we continue to visit with the president of Eastern Kentucky University, Dr. Benson. Who, uh, Mike Benson is going to be uh, inaugurated officially at the end of this week, so it's a big week for him. And what a big football season that is off to a <laughs> roaring start to, for the Colonels. The crowds have been uh, there like they were in the 1980s, which was the heyday of uh, EKU football. How far can this team go? Well, I hear a lot about kind of the halcyon days of uh, Roy Kidd and, and the four national championships that he played for consecutively, and Roy and Sue were uh, in our box on Saturday, and we had a great visit. Th this team, there's something special about this team, and I've been in public higher ed my whole career, so I've been around a lot of teams, but you can see kind of sense, there's a, a palpability, if you will, uh, you can get a, kind of read the gauge and, and tenor of a team, and this one is unique, and uh, so we'll see what happens, you know, we're 6-0 and now. Uh, we'll see what happens next week, but uh, they, they command their own destiny. We finish against Florida. Uh, down the swamp, uh, but uh, from here on out, it's all conference games that I know we can win. Do you still hope to move Eastern Athletics into uh, NCAA Division One? Well, we're Division One. It's just a matter of FCS versus FBS, right. and uh, all we can do is prepare ourselves, uh, improve our facilities, do well, uh, have our team succeed, um, improve our, our academic re reputation, and the invitation has to be extended. And to this point, one has not come. So we're going to be very content in the Ohio Valley Conference for now and stay there until something else happens. You are improving your uh, even the football facility, right? We are. Major We've, upgrade? Uh, yes, sir. We've uh, kind of launched the initial, or uh, unveiled the initial plans of what a new facility will look like to replace the visiting stands. And it's, it's part of a larger uh, kind of campus effort to improve our facilities. We're going to have uh, graduation there in May outdoors for everybody. And so we need to improve the stadium to accommodate uh, a really big crowd in May. 
Let's talk about the big uh, week to come. Your inauguration is going to be at the EKU Center uh, yes, and, uh, with other events, but the main uh, the swearing in, I guess, will be on Friday. Uh, and then a big uh, homecoming weekend that's uh, coming up. Do you have any uh, uh, special uh, announcements that you anticipate making on that day that uh, you can uh, clue us in on? Well, we'll see. Yeah, there are a few things I want to touch on. I'm putting the final touches on my speech right now, but it really starts on Sunday night. Uh, we're going to have a, a reception for our Board of Regents down in Hazard, which is part of our uh, service area. Go out to Lily Cornette Woods on Monday, service projects on Tuesday, uh, various lectures on Wednesday and Thursday, and then uh, the inauguration on Friday, and then of course all the homecoming activities too. We try to tie it in to events to bring people back to campus and make it as, a, uh, as appealing to a broad population as possible. Now, I, I know you're a, a writer and you support freedom of expression. Your, your student newspaper got after you a little bit for that meeting down in <laughs> Eastern Kentucky, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they did, and I, I can understand. Jacob Blair is a fine young man, and uh, he's the editor, and he and I have kind of a little disagreement on this, but we got a ruling back from the Attorney General's office today that we did not violate any open meetings uh, law, that uh, it'll be open to the public like all of our meetings. We're actually going to stream it live. Uh, so anybody can tune into the meeting, but we felt it was important that our board go into our service area and meet folks down there. And in uh, Lily Cornette Woods, we're going to break ground on a new uh, research facility and bunkhouse. So uh, I think the, the the paper is on board now that uh, this is a good idea. What would you like to have people saying about Eastern Kentucky University five years from now? Well, I tell our current students and our our graduates that I want them to look up that diploma on their wall and be proud of their alma mater. And my task as president is to, is to increase, I believe, the value of that diploma and the reputation of the institution. It's a great place. Uh, it's been around for a long time. It's met the needs, educational and personal and professional needs of a lot of people for a long time. And all I can do is build on that and make it better and make people even more proud. Make employers uh, want to hire our graduates. Um, make the reputation of it continue to, to uh, increase and the luster of that diploma mean even more to the graduates. Would you agree that uh, this is a, 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 a heyday of a time for higher education in Kentucky in terms of leadership at the, at the various institutions? I know you've met all of them and of course it's uh, guided by the, uh, the, the, the post-secondary higher education uh, commission but uh, you have Wayne Andrews at Moorhead. I know your, your rivals and friends, uh, and of course, uh, Dr. Capilouto at the flagship at UK. We have a great group of presidents. I mean, we all get along. We had dinner together just last week. Uh, Wayne's become a great friend. Eli has. I mean, all of them have. And uh, I really value their friendship and appreciate their support. Sure, we compete. We compete in athletics sometimes. We're going to play UK in basketball in December. Uh, we compete for students, but at the end of the day, it's about improving the lives of all Kentuckians, and each of us plays a role in that in that kind of big puzzle, and we're working together to do that. Dr. Mike Benson, EKU's president, who will be officially inaugurated at the end of the week. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. Thank we're you. We're back. On